there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is the start of my new series on Ragnarok. We've set this one up for my community over on Discord and if you'd like to join then links are down below. Do bear in mind that you need to be on PC and own a copy of Ark Survival on Steam. This will not work with the free version from Epic Games and that's because we're using some of the Steam Workshop mods. And before I jump into this little build guide, I just want to show you some of the mods that we're going to be using in this series. So I've just spawned in at Viking Bay 1 and a friend and follow content creator, Shazella, has built this structure here just to show off some of the mods we're using this weekend. And as you can see, she's put the dragon and manticore flags outside. They're two of the bosses that we're going to need to defeat at some point in this series. Now there is no super structures or S plus in here. So to balance the stack mod that we've got going, I've installed Roleplay Storage. This just offers a lot more slots for storing things and works really well with the HD stack mod. We're also using the awesome Spyglass. We've had to turn some of the settings off on the Spyglass because it is a little bit overpowered. But most of the mods on here are for cosmetic value and don't change the game greatly. There's the stylus table there from Marnie Mods, so you're going to be able to adjust your character's look a lot more. And we've also put pipes and cables on here and a boron watering kit, which means that you're going to be able to draw water from anywhere on the map. I think Shazella put something just out the back here, just showing off how the water kit works. Oh, I can't get in there. But there you can see just that pipe is just a half size pipe and it helps you rearrange all of your pipe work and hopefully it's going to make some really tidy builds on this server so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into Ragnarok with everybody and like I say everything's going to be linked down below so this series is largely for me to show off different build guides and just have a little bit of fun with everybody this is not going to be a replacement for my complete series but an extra video as I explained in my monthly update and uh, something that's a little bit less edited and I do get a lot of questions if I can slow down and show off a lot more of what I'm doing so with the mods on here you're going to be able to follow along whether you're on Xbox PlayStation or PC okay now I just saw a high level turtle up the beach here but I can't find it before I can get building this raft and I want to show you how to do this tugboat build I've not done it for quite a while we're going to need to get ourselves a tame. I just need to be able to grab some more berries and don't see that turtle. What level are you? Oh, 140. That will do. That's one of the things I do like about Ragnarok. A lot of the dinos that you'll find on this map are quite high level. So let's grab this trike. That'll do nicely. Help me gather some berries, thatch and wood. So we'll just get to some high ground. And uh, there you go, it's just charging, so we just need to make sure we're out of its way so it can't turn. And I'll just jump up on these rocks over here. So, like I say, a lot of the mods that are installed on here are literally just for cosmetic reasons. And of course, we did put a stack mod on here. I've also switched on the numbers for this series for everybody as well, so you can see there I was only hitting three when we hit its face. If we get a body shot, you can see it's much more effective on the trike. Oh, didn't think you could get me there. So yeah, when, when taking down the trike, you really want to aim anywhere else about other than its face. And a 140 is a really good start, actually. I always tend to tame a herbivore first. I always find that tends to be better. Otherwise, if we go and grab a raptor or something with the saddles that are open to us at the start, just means we just have to go and gather a load more berries by hand so I generally like to make my first tame a herbivore and so I don't think this trike can get up here just a few more try and shoot it in the foot or just in its body it looks like it's doing its first torpor run. It's got stuck in a tree, so that's fine. I better slow down the amount of arrows that we're putting in it. Just wait a few seconds between each one. 
don't want to damage it too much. It's starting to look a little bit bloody. But this will do nicely. So I am going to have to level up a little bit so we can build this raft and I'm going to gather some bits and bobs. Oh, just broke. I've got another bow just spare here. I thought this might take two bows. Oh, don't want to use them arrows. I need to switch that for tranks. Hopefully 30 more will do it. Should do. As long as we get some body shots and try and avoid the headshots. Like that. There we go. And that's its second torpor run. So it won't be far off going down. Pretty confident we got it. There we go. So that's the trike down and our first tame. Fantastic. Now I've just set up on the cliff here just temporarily. I will destroy all of this stuff because I do like to clean up and I'm going to shift it all onto the boat when we eventually build it. haven't actually decided where I'm going to build the base yet but I think we'll just take this boat out and uh, perhaps next episode we will set up somewhere and find our base position. But I figured when we did the original playthrough for Complete Games, the first thing I did was build a boat and we headed to Herbie Island and I've had a lot of people asking me how did we build the boat and even though I did do a pirate ship build and I tend to tend send people that way, uh, I wanted to do a guide just to help you out. Okay, Abby Squidworm. Just going to put CG at the end just in case we lose any of the dinos on the map. Everybody will know that uh, you belong to me. And I've just made up the saddle here. So, Abby, of course, thank you very much for your support on Patreon. And, um, oh, look at that. Yeah, we're going to get loads of narcos back. So, the settings are quite kind on here. And, of course, there is no nanny mod on here as well. So, we have balanced the timers. So, the cover and imprint timers are pretty kind. In fact, I'd say they're even kinder than they are on my single player settings. Okay, so I've managed to get quite a lot of materials together. Abby's helped me out quite a bit, actually. I've managed to get quite a bit of wood with using the trike. And we'll get stuck into building our raft. So I'm going to show you a few different ways to do this. And uh, it's been a while since I've done the tugboat. But we'll do something different to the pirate ship build and uh, I'm going to show you a, a few little building tricks here on how to sink your foundations and how to space things out on the raft better. So, first of all, whether we're going to be building this free or too wide, I always jump onto the drive position so we get centered and we need to put the sail up. So if we just get on here and put our pillar down, we can center it just with this mast and then everything is even fantastic so now we can get rid of the sail that doesn't need to be up there anymore now just by placing that pillar down at the front this will make it so we could do three foundations evenly in a row but I want to make this raft two foundations wide because I'm going to use a dinosaur gate at the back and in order to do that, there's a little trick that we're going to follow. If I just show you now, because we've got that centered, you can see we could build this free wide and it would be perfectly centered. Just having that one pillar just there. But what we need to do is change it so it's going to be too wide. So we need a ceiling Then we put a wall just in front here. And we need to create a new snap point. So again, this works whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Just making a new snap point. So we come down there with the pillar in the corner and we can now get rid of this. This has created a different snap point. Let's get rid of that and that. Okay. Now what I want to do is sink the foundations. So this is, as you can see, there we go. We can get it too wide. 
and that's because we created a new snap point. So I'll just get rid of this one at the top. Now my next job is to sink the foundations. So this is the pillar trick to sink the foundations. I'm sure you've probably seen this one lots of times before. And we place that pillar down, it's become shorter. And that one's shorter, so we keep on going, just keep on lowering these snap points. Again, put one here. Get rid of this. And I'll just show you how low the foundations go down now. As you can see, they're still above the raft, so we still need to go down a little bit further. So, put another pillar down here. And I think we need to go down another two. So let's pick that one up. Place this one down. Now this should be enough. I'll just check before we carry on and lower it anymore. Otherwise we'll have to start again. No, we need one more. That's just not quite low enough. It needs to be low down. Otherwise we're not going to be able to drive the raft. So we need to be able to get these foundations round about. There we go. That's That's perfect there. And as you can see, it's going to be even and we can still drive the raft. So that's why we have to do the pillar trick. Just put these here. And now that I've got them down, we can get rid of the pillar. And as you'll see, because we've lowered all of the foundations, you can still drive the boat. I don't think I really want to lower it any more than that because we'll see the wood above it. But we can still drive the boat. Now we want to take this out lengthwise and in order to get more foundations to clip on we're going to put some ceilings down. Again, we've just created a new snap point. We can now attach foundations onto the back. Of course I want to do that at the front as well. Ooh, just mess one up there. And now with the server settings, you can pick up your structures. We don't have a building helmet on here. We've managed to adjust it so you can pick up your structures at any point, which is quite handy. One of the advantages to having super structures, but we've been able to do it without mods, which I'm really pleased about. Okay, one more. Two. Fantastic. Okay, just doing the same at the front of the boat here using the ceiling and foundation trick. And of course, one of the advantages of building the boat too wide is you can still access it at the sides like that. So just a, a little different twist on the pirate ship build we did. Okay, let's just go and grab some walls and windows out of Abbey. Um, I'll grab those and I'm gonna get a couple of doors as well on the side and just put this back because we're over encumbered like so okay so I think that'll be long enough I'm quite happy with that and I'm gonna put a door on the side here again so we can just get access like you saw before and Put one on the opposite side just in case we need to come in the boat that way and I think we'll do window window and then we'll go up to the front with some walls one two same on the other side so in order to get this pillar centered we need to use one fence foundation and then we can snap a pillar directly into the center. And then from that, we can snip a diagonal foundation. Just saw it there. There we go. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but there we go. There's two diagonals. Okay, so just flip that round that way. Now, I know there's a little gap there. We will sort that out with some pillars. But we just needed to have this sort of triangle front to the boat. And um, of course we can't clip anymore in. So I'm just going to be sorting that. Oh, didn't want that one there. We're going to sort that out with some pillars in the corner. It will all 
good once we've done it. Trust me. Okay. Just pick up this wall now. I'm going to put another foundation just down at the end here because I want to snap some more pillars and it doesn't appear to be snapping correctly. So, that one might be slightly in. So we can snap a pillar just onto the end of that wall and now one on that foundation. We've just done the same on the other side. So now I can replace them walls and we've covered up them gaps there. snap in. So when you create so many snap points, sometimes it can be a little bit finicky. But yep, that works. And one there as well. Okay, so that's the front of our boat. Starting getting an idea of how it's going to look. And at the back here, I want to use a dinosaur gate. Now again, the advantage of using a too wide raft is that the dinosaur gate fits perfectly so I'm just going to put two foundations down at the front here two fence foundations and then we can clip the dinosaur gate just at the end here that'll be where our big entrance is okay we just want to make sure that we get this the right way round I want the door to open outwards not inwards so there we go, that's at the back of the boat now. So one more level of walls. Let's keep on going along here. Of course, them corners we're going to pile up with some pillars. That will all be fixed soon. So we're going too high with the stone walls to begin with. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly how we want it. And then we'll switch to wood for the top of our build. Now I'm just going to turn the wooden panels inside out because I prefer the wood on the outside. Just offers a different texture to the boat. So we'll flip all of these round like so. Or I, I might actually be going too high with these. I do want to put a cabin at the back of the boat, but these might actually need to be fence posts. I'll just put the ceiling in and we'll have a look, see how that looks. Okay, there we go, got our dino doors on here. Now we need to get a ceiling up. And yeah, I have gone too high, so I'm going to get rid of some of them wooden walls. You only need to go up to right at the back. So if we put our ceiling just here, this will be where the top of the boat is. Carry on going along here like so. Just grab some more wood off Abby. So I've just added a rope ladder. So we can get onto the top floor. And we just need to cover up the gaps at the front as well. Just spoiling some more meat as well to get some more narcotics, which I'm sure we're going to need plenty of. So come up one more with the stone pillars. And then we also need to come up with the wooden pillars as well. And that one's gone in fine. It's sometimes just a little bit tricky just at the front here because we have created quite a few different snap points. But we will get there, it will work. There we go. Now, this is what gives our boat a little bit of a steam front to it, making it a steamboat or tugboat. And when that's lit, we've got a little chimney pumping out some steam at the front. Let's just climb up the top here. Now, I got rid of them extra walls. I'll just get rid of this extra pillar. And just on the side here, this is where I'm going to make the cabin. 
So I think we'll put two windows just here. And need a little bit more space than that. So just pick up them two fence posts. And we'll use two more walls just here. So I've been leveling up quite quick under these settings, so it is quite kind. Not doing too bad at all. That one's the wrong way around. Of course, once you hit level 60, all of that sort of slows down. But, like I say, the settings on here are a little bit casual. Sometimes art can take over. Okay, so I'm going to come up. All just here and here and I think actually I'm gonna make them triangles I didn't mean to put that there just switch that round we just need to use the opposite one there we go so that's now slanting down so it has been a while since I've built this boat before okay and we'll stick a door in here And it now matches the height of the dinosaur gate. Flip that round. Again, I just like that texture on the outside for this build. We need some slope ceilings. Just put one there and there. And uh, I think I'll end up giving this a paint job as well. Just to make it stand out a little bit more. And once we put a couple of ceilings on here... Of course, we'll be able to put the back walls on as well. They won't just clip to the dinosaur gate. We need to clip them off the top of that ceiling. Like so. But oh, I've just put them in the wrong place. I need to flip them round. Can I reach? Okay, right. Let's put a forge down. Then once I've got some metal, I can also build the smithy. And can have everything in this boat that we really need at the start as well. So we'll just shove a few items down. I think we'll put the forge just in the corner here. And I've just grabbed one of the new storage chests. I really like this one. This is the Rockwell storage chest. And it's just obviously the larger versions of the note crate here, but it's really cool. I like that. It's got plenty of space inside as well. Um, I'm not sure if it'll go just there though. I think I might change the position and just put it straight against the wall next to the forge. We've got plenty of storage space. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, I like that. It looks great. Okay, so let me show you around our boat build. This, of course, I've just taken the time to give it a lick of paint as well. I think painting some of your builds always can offer a few improvements and make it stand out. But our steam tugboat is now ready. And we'll just come aboard. I'll show you around. Of course, over the back here, I've put a smithy. Um, we will light our fire. So we've got some uh, steam. Got to make our steamboat. And there we go, got the Rockwell chest, i put a cooker down there, I've got my bed up in the little cabin up here. Of course we've got enough space to get Abby on board as well. And yeah, I just give it a lick of blue paint, thought that would change things up a little bit. And as you can see the little chimney is now pumping out some smoke. So now we're ready to set sail. And perhaps we will find somewhere where we can build and set up shop. There. Abby, you can be quite happy in front of the fire there. Okay, let's close that. Now, this is one of the things when you do build a structure this big for on your raft, it can be a little bit difficult to see, so you kind of have to flip into K mode. But there we go. The tugboat build. And, yeah. Oh, I've just missed out a little bit of paint on the roof. We just need to add one more on the roof there. 
And yeah, I like it. I like it. It's been a long time since I've done this one. It worked out just, just perfect, I think. Um, I just missed out that little square at the top, so let's give that a lick of paint. Okay, so we just paint region one and region six. I've just used this nice sky blue and uh, slate colour to colour this boat. I think that pretty much covers it for my build guide on how to do a tugboat using vanilla structures. Yeah, happy with that one. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. And of course, next time we'll be setting up our main base somewhere on Ragnarok. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.